one. It's M. W. Smith. So check this out. I was looking up the uh, Abyssinians uh, and Ethiopians, and this is what I got: dark skinned, uh, dark skinned Jews tribe of Abyssini. <clears throat> Sorry, seventeen ten from Ethiopian, literally meaning uh, exiled wanderer immigrant um, immigrants from Falasha. He who wanders. Check this out. Falasha. Ready for this? Let's see here. Falasha is here in Libya, in Africa. Libya, we already talked about how there was those that were, let me get this off here, those that were imported from America to Libya. So I, I ran across this. I don't really have much time. I'm going to leave this all in the description box if you want to check it out. I thought it was interesting. I'll go over it again later. I'm, got, I'm on ball time on this computer that I'm using. Um... But I just thought this was uh, absolutely uh, crazy when I read that. Um, let me see here. And there was something else I wanted to show you. There was this thing about new Christians and their blood, right? Um, literally, this whole piece goes in about, uh, well, I guess I can't go. Oh, here it is. This. I'm going to leave this in the description box. Uh, if you want to check it out, go ahead and read it first. Next time I'll be on your uh, Friday. Um, I'll be able to discuss it, and, <clears throat> but it, I just thought it was interesting just talking about the difference between pure Christian blood, um, the more uh, Muslim blood, Israel, uh, Jewish blood, says, <clears throat> this is referred to those who were considered pure, old Christians, without Muslim or Jewish ancestry, or with, or with, within the context of the empire, New Spain, or Portugal in, in, Indi, India, usually to those without ancestors from the uh, Aboriginal ab, Aborigines peoples of of the Americas, Asia, or Africa. So I will hammer this out the next time we get on here. I just had to do this real briefly. Anyways, this is Louis Smith and a lot, everybody.